Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a security system out of HTML and JavaScript. All we're using is HTML and JavaScript, and we're just going to write our if statements with our script. We're going to be mostly using JavaScript, but we have a teensy bit of HTML we're going to write. So let's just open our text editor, and we're going to save our file as index.html. And let's start writing. So you're gonna make your basic tag. And then and then we're gonna write in our body. And we're just gonna make a background color of blue. And then we're going to make our H1. This is going to, just going to say our welcome. So we're just going to make it say align equals center and ID equals name and slash H1. Okay, and then our button, we're going to make an on click and we're going to do log, log in. And we're going to title it the button login and then and our button. So then we're going to start our script. And this is where we're going to make a variable. Enter your name. So this is just going to ask you to enter your name that way with our H1 that's right here. It will just say welcome and then you can press login. So enter your name and then we're gonna do document dot get element by ID and then name and dot enter HTML equals welcome. And then we're just going to add our person. And that's all. So then we're going to end up script right there. Then we're going to add another script. And we're going to do function login. And we're going to username equals prompt. Enter your username. And then we're going to do the same thing with the password. And then we're going to make our if statement if username equals equals. We're just going to do admin. You can do whatever you want. And then we're going to do and and password equals equals trick oh, that's sorry one two three four five six and then we'll get that too go to our next function which will be called move on actually we're just going to do instead of our next function we're just going to do alert welcome And then we're just going to do welcome and then username and bam, we got that done. So then we end that, we end that if, and then we're going to make an else if username equals equals. This is just so you can add more if you want. We're going to do coding and then and password equals equals tricks and then we're going to do alert same alert as last time alert welcome username 
and then we're going to make our else statement else we're going to make it the we're going to make it be this is what our incorrect credentials would be so we're going to do alert and correct credentials and then we're just going to call the function login again incorrect credentials try again there we go And now we have that. We can also go like this. Instead of putting our login, because then people could just press cancel and still get into it. We're just going to do location equals location equals. We're just going to do, I'm just going to do put my website for now. Like that. And that's how you do it. So then we're going to end our script. And then our body and then our HTML. So let's, try, let's test our code out. So if you go into your file. And you open your index. It says enter your name. And we're going to be coding. Welcome coding. So let's log in. Apparently it's not calling our function. Let's see what's going on here. Log in. Log in. What? Why is it not calling? Problem was is that I accidentally added these things, semicolons, and when I wasn't supposed to. So we just altered our if statements to do if username equals equals coding and password equals equals tricks and we run our function so then it goes alert welcome username and then we just end it like that and we just have all this. We have our incorrect credentials. And then if we save this, and we go test it in our browser. We can see that it had you enter your name at first, like normal, so coding. And then you get your login button. So let's press our login button. So coding tricks. And then you get your welcome. But if you press log in and you go coding some random stuff, bam, incorrect credentials and it takes you away from the page. So that's how that works, which is really nice. So in the next video, I'll teach you guys how to block controls like control I so they can't sneak in and get in the password like this. 